Ah oh, damn, in this video I want to show you an amazing arm workout, let's get to it. Alright, welcome to my video. I want to show you an awesome arm workout. Do me a favor, there's a lot of great content coming down this year on this channel. Hit the subscribe button right now. Alright, let's get to the workout. Alright, so the very first thing on this arm workout that we're going to be doing is a light set of tricep press downs. In fact, I did 40, 30, and 20 reps. So a set of 40, set of 20, or set of 40, set of 30, and set of 20 of these tricep press downs, these are cable press downs, with a rope. And I'm definitely going to be supersetting this with close grip bicep barbell curls the same exact way. So got done with that, I'm picking up the barbell right here, and I have the squiggly bar, that's what I call it, but uh, I'm doing the, the closer grip on the bar right there. I'm putting my elbows kind of like trying to lock them into my obliques right so that way it keeps the arm from swaying back and forth so that's going to be my warm-up right there and we're going to proceed into actual sets of the tricep press down with a superset direct superset of close grip bicep barbell curls so i'm going to be doing 10 reps of tricep press downs and we'll see here in this next clip that here comes the press down here's my actual set and I'm really trying hard to press the weight down. Okay, press the cable down. And I'm trying to do that little J-hook thing right there, as you see with my wrists, okay? And uh, sometimes it turns out to be kind of like a J and L, but uh, essentially if you do that, you will really, really emphasize uh, the tricep head by doing that. So 10 reps, and if it's not heavy enough, then you have to stack on a little bit more weight. But yeah, after this, we're gonna be moving towards the close grip bicep barbell curl. So a four by 10 of tricep press downs and a four by 10, four sets of 10 reps, close grip bicep barbell curls. As you can see, I'm kind of leaning back a tiny bit and I'm locking in my elbows to my obliques right there. So it actually prevents my upper arm from swaying back and forth, thus leading or leaving the stress of the workout or this exercise right on the muscle that it's intended to work, which is the bicep so that is exercise number one a super set of two things exercise number two we're going to be working with now that you know the, the triceps are adequately warm and the biceps are adequately warm i will proceed to a close grip bench with the numbers eight six five and three for reps super set barbell curls four by ten so as you can see right here this is my close grip bench it's kind of leaning a little bit because i don't think my, my fingers are in the right positions on one of them but uh, after this, I'm going directly into barbell curls four by 10. So, um, you know, 10 reps, you would think, okay, that doesn't look like much weight on the bar, but after a while, um, you start to really feel it. Now I'm doing a little bit more swaying here. This isn't uh, elbows locked in like the previous one. So this one is actually uh, meant to sway a little bit. So four by 10 of that, and my close grip wrench was an eight, six, five, and three. After this, I moved to two other movements for arms. One is tricep and one is bicep. The skull crushers, which is a very famous movement. Um, this one I'm also doing my first set at eight, second set at six, third set five, and the three after that, otherwise known as ascending pyramid. Um, and after that, I'm going to superset this with a preacher curl um, and it's eight, six, five, and three. It's on this different kind of machine that hopefully you have it in the gym. If not, you're gonna have to kind of improvise. But uh, yeah, the skull crushers are very, very important to building a massive amount of weight uh, size on the tricep head. And then this is the, uh, you know, this is the uh, preacher curl that I do right here. And there are many variations of this exercise, but I can uh, show you on this one. This one uses discs, right? Instead of like a pulley with some weights up and down. I'm actually, you know, curling it like this because I don't want to involve my back. If I was sitting on that seat, I would involve my back a lot more. This, I'm looking to actually just isolate my bicep. That's the main thing going on in my head why I'm in this goofy looking position. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is single uh, reverse grip press downs. So this is for the triceps, as you can see right there. Triceps are starting to get uh, a little bit cached, but I am uh, definitely, definitely trying hard to get a four by 10 out of here. And the superset of this is going to be hammer curls. So yeah, what you want to do is I like to like put my hand on my waist on one side, mm, you know, 10 to 15 reps, something like that is what I'm kind of looking forward to hitting. And um, I am looking at the mirror and making sure that my tricep, you know, I see that the horseshoe is coming out on each one. So after I do the reps on this one, I move to the other one and you can see that I actually stepped over as well. So I'm really trying to keep the cable pretty much in line with that shoulder, that arm, that tricep. So 
that's really important. And this is one of those exercises where you don't want to use a whole lot of weight. Very, very important. Do not use a whole lot of weight. Now I'm going to superset this with hammer curls, standing hand hammer curls, um, and that's definitely going to be a perfect superset that we can, uh, you know, add to this. So this one right here, if I was to do an alternating uh, hammer curl, it would just take forever to go through this entire uh, two exercises. But I'm going to be doing at the same time hammer curls right here, and I'm using 30s and I'm going for about 10 reps. Um, so that's kind of ideal right now. And you can see that I'm you know, I'm not going very fast and I'm not going super, super slow. So that is uh, the combination for those two movements. Hammer curls are real, you know, easy to do. What I kind of like to do on this one is I kind of like to bring my elbows a little bit backwards. As you can see, when I'm bringing it up, I bring my elbows back a little bit and I get a really crazy squeeze in my biceps. So really important way that I, I kind of like to do it. The last movement is uh, what I kind of call cable concentration curls, and we're going to superset this with overhead tricep uh, dumbbell extension. So cable concentration curls are pretty interesting. So you have to put the cable at the one, usually the very top of uh, the thing that it can slide up and down on, right? So you put it in the top movement, and then what you do is you um, kind of lower your center of gravity but you stay still in line with you keep the arms in line with the cable so lower your center of gravity and you can see that i'm not um, bringing my elbow or anything up so that's a real important thing and i'm just concentrating on hitting a really good curl for my bicep peak so that's important i'm doing it what's called a drop set a 10 10 10 so you can see that i just uh, knock that out real quick and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know get a dumbbell and do tricep overhead extensions after that last tricep so it's a triple cut um, for this one exercise right there i'm going to cut it one more time for 10 reps um, my arms are just dead they're just swollen right now and they're just full of blood so this is one of those things I'm trying to top it off uh, the last part of the exercise. And cables are a really good thing at the last part of an exercise because um, they, they really limit the, the incidence of injury. You know, you really wouldn't want to be messing with bars or heavy weight towards the tail end. Now, that's why I'm doing lightweight concentration curls that are just cashing my arms. And then the very last thing I'm doing to superset with this is a 4x10, or really a 3x10 um, um, overhead tricep extension. So you can see right there just to get the triceps uh, that much more blasted out. So it's really good. Um, I did four, actually I did, now that I remember, I did four sets of the uh, tricep drop set and I did four sets of the overhead tricep extension. So that's the full workout right there. Um, and that takes about an hour to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Really fun arm workout. Make sure you do it properly. Get a good warm up. I'll see you on the next bot damn video. Take it easy. Goodbye.